We'll take on hot hands. Or we'll jump down. And here Oh, what's what's this? Hello everyone, so I wanted to show anyone who's not really played this game or played fairly linearly, didn't really explore too much, um, I wanted to show them exactly what that pool is for, because now I remember, since I went through that pool, because <clears throat> you'd think it, it takes you nowhere, but it actually is a shortcut if you are observant and quick enough. So if you roll here, or walk off here, it brings you right to where that pool was. Or right where the one that it took you to. If you can survive the dogs. Teleports you to an easier run back to the boss. <clears throat> and there we are, back at that pool. From here, you can kill these guys so they don't accidentally do damage to you because you don't want to take much damage on your way back to the boss. I almost jumped off the ladder again. It allows you to come over to this side, you can kind of roll over here, and you completely bypass the angry monstrosities. And then go right into the Blood Moon. The field of the Blood Moon. So, the first time I fought this guy, it was a little difficult because I didn't realize what you could do. But once it starts, you can actually get up onto the second area and kill all those summoners. <laughs> they make the fight hard. coming out of here. According to the lore, this is a bunch of people that were sacrificed in order to create their own Great One. I think. I could be wrong. I have a tendency to remember certain things differently. So it's like, they were hinting at something with those grotesque monstrosities outside the gate. Alright, so how do you do it? Is it... Nope. Ah, it's on the other side. So if you run past him, you can get into the staircase, and there you can take out these ladies that love to shoot fire at you, or whatever bolts they are, magic missiles, okay, I'll have to take her out on the bottom. We got some quick silver bullets up here if you need them. You just want to make sure you take these guys out. 
then they can't shoot their fireballs at you. Or magic balls. And then from there, I like to put on some fire paper. This guy really don't like fire. And I use my trick, my whip. Oh! Thought I was safe. Got her out. Fire paper. Oh, lovely stamina pool. He's got like two heads, so you're not really standing behind him. I don't know what's hitting me. Okay. I... What was hitting me? I have no idea what that was that was hitting me. That's great. That's never happened before. No, 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 no. <laughs> it just shot me right off the ledge. Now, take minimal damage. Silly doggos. Aha, uh -huh, you missed me. again. I think I'm just gonna go down the ladder this time. They can't get me. Alright. Try this again. I want to try and get my blood echoes after, because... Just kill the ladies up here first. So with these ones not, you know, staying dead, you don't really want to die again. Want to? You don't want to die at all. So then they come back. You got to do that again. It's not fun. It's also not fun taking damage from them because you're wasting your heals. Maybe it was that that I got hit by that is just like a one shot. Raining bodies. Okay. And then it also threw up. That's, that's horrifically disgusting. How much did you throw up, man? Like, I don't know what it's doing.
back up a little. I don't want to get hit by this random thing that just killed me last time. Doing much better because I'm being a little more cautious this time. Oh, he dropped bodies on me. Okay. Get him down. There we go. Pray slaughtered. Fatality. Thank you for that. Touch our lantern. We got lots of insight. Almost too much insight. And then we're almost we're almost done the game. We're on to like technically the last area <clears throat> this is gonna bring us to somewhere that's fairly familiar if you've been paying attention the lecture hall or lecture building back to being a student now the second floor much different than the uh, bottom floor you're on a balcony, so yeah, you can go into, you know, to kind of the same areas, but there's a lot of different things that will kill you in here. Like this, we fell down at a different spot this time. And then, uh, these guys are patrolling. Like that. Hit me from across the way. Ah. Okay. He was right in front of me, but. Okay. Got another door over here. Three third chords. The nameless moon presence beckoned by Lawrence. What was that last bit? And his associates, pale blood. Ooh, okay. And then here we got uh, Mr. Hot Hands. It's a hot handed giant. I typically want to run past and then fight my way back. It's an easier option than getting stuck. Saw another item I missed over here. It's probably from the guy. Yeah, it dropped. So, we'll take on Hot Hands. Or, we'll jump down. And here, oh, what's, what's this? Didn't Lord Amidala? 
Wow. Did this come to pass? Hmm. Do you think you love me? Maybe not at all. I think not. Your patches. You should appreciate it. If you <laughs> yeah, okay. Just do your thing already. Can I buy from you? There's there's anti-clockwise metamorphosis, something I like. And uh I'm done with you. That was on <laughs> I am a bad man. I am very bad. Anyways, we will uh, catch this up in the next one. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.